Steve. Hello everyone and uh, welcome to today's video. Um, so we're thinking about Iha Hauna at the moment. It's Halloween, it's on its way up and uh, today I'm going to be making on um, mask busca, so a box mask with you. And uh, I took the inspiration from this for a long time ago. People used to dress up in, in their neighbours' clothes or their family's clothes and disguise themselves on Ihahauna because that was the time when the ace she, the fairies, would come to visit. And the fairies were awful tricksters and people wanted to be able to disguise themselves. So we're going to make a mask, which is a big disguise for the night. First thing we do is we take our cardboard box and um, I've already started cutting here but you need to cut off these flaps that are left over once you cut your cardboard box in half. So this is going to be your mask, this section here. So I'm using, um, this is called a craft knife and these are really, really sharp and only adults can use these and scissors is perfectly fine if you need your, a, an adult to help you to do this bit. This bit is usually a bit tricky cutting through cardboard, so you might need an adult to do it. So I'll just get these, these bits off. These are useful, these leftover bits, so don't throw them away because you need to use them to make 3D parts onto your mask. So now you have a shape and this is going to be what your mask is going to look like. So this is the front section of your mask. And uh, the top bit has this over it. The bottom bit is open. So the first thing I want to do is I want to make the shapes where my eyes are going to be. So I'd advise you to make nice big shapes for your eyes because there's nothing worse than not being able to see out of a mask when you're wandering around. So I'm just going to do nice, big, irregular shaped eyes. Maybe anything you want, just whatever character you're making. And again, I'm going to use my craft knife to cut these out. And you might need an adult to give you a hand with this, making the eye shapes. It can be tricky and through cardboard. Once you have these eye holes cut out, then uh, we're going to put on something like a nose or beak or something that sticks out the front because it gives it a nice 3D effect. So this is um, the bit that I cut off from here and I'm just going to fold it in half like this. And then I'll oh, see I can make a nice kind of beak shape here. So uh, the way to stick it on is you come um, out about an inch up here like this, about that far up and about that far up. Make a little score line here. Now again, you don't have to do this. I just find it useful and easy. It doesn't have to go very deep. It only just goes through the top section of the cardboard paper section. And then that means that you can bend there where the score line is much more easily. So where that score line is and bend. Now then we get this and this is going to get stuck down in here. Okay so mask and tape out. Mask and tape is brilliant because it's made of paper you can paint over it so I use it for everything when I'm making. It's a really fun material to use. closest to the eyes stuck down first. This will get painted over so there's no need to worry about it what it looks like. Just make sure you got enough on there to get it secured on properly. Okay then twist it around. See then I need to get the this section on afterwards so that just goes in line with the bottom of the uh, mask. Okay, so then you have this pretty cool 
stickyite section here. So you can see we have 3D bit to the mask. Okay, so then the next thing to do is we need to start to paint our mask. So I've got some, I've got these little acrylic pots, but you can use whatever you like. Um, poster paint is perfect. If you've markers, use markers, use whatever, uh, whatever you have at home. So what I'd advise you to do is to get your, your paint or your marker. And the first thing to do is to go around the outline of the eye. So you want to make a nice thick outline in black all around the eye. Because that will really emphasise the eye. And uh, makes it look much cooler in the end. You have these nice dark shadow around the eyes. So it's the material is cardboard, so kind of a roughness to this mask, which I like. Okay, so then the next thing to do is decide what kind of pattern you want to put on it. It could be anything you want, anything, anything. Uh, some different colours and clean your brush nicely in between and dry it off and then uh, I think I'll go for this yellow ochre maybe and a nice pink to get these nice bright colours on here be fun I love stripes so I'm going to go for stripes different types of stripes While you're waiting for your mask to dry, you can get some of your coloured paper or your colour card and prepare that. So this is what we're going to use to decorate the edges of our mask. So just decide on shapes that you'd like to stick onto the edge and then cut them out. Um, you can draw out the shapes first if you like, or you can just start cutting and they don't have to be straight lines. They can be any shape you like. variety of shapes so I want to make kind of strips of this so I'm just going to show you a neat easy trick so when you have your roll of paper all you do is you come down about um, an inch down cut a straight line along here like so and then you're going to end up with a big long piece and you don't need them that long for what I'm doing so I'm just going to cut this up into lengths I'm going to cut my first length that long. So I'll kind of keep them all a similar length. So now back to the cardboard box mask and I'm just going to turn it over on its side here and I'm just going to attach some of these that we just um, cut out. So they'll kind of trail down easy way to attach them is just to use a little bit of glue and my glue stick here. I'm putting these along the bottom down here. And just like so. Glue them on one at a time. turn it over and do the same on the other side. The mask isn't perfectly dry yet but it's dry enough to be able to decorate along the edges so 
So I'm just going to take our um, uh, card that we put out earlier and just attach it along the side just using some glue. So the last thing to do then is to add the last element, which is the, or the decoration anyway, which is the straw. So straw would have been a very traditional material to use for making, you might have heard of mummer masks. And um, so these were mummers were people who went around in Halloween and also on, um, around New Year's as well and uh, would uh, or go to neighbors houses dressed up and disguised and there'd be kind of tricks going on and that's where the whole Halloween tradition in Ireland developed. So I'm going to take some straw and I'm just going to use this for the top headpiece. It's easiest with straw to stick it on using the masking tape. The glue tends to just come off when you use glue. So just get some straw, fold it over in little sections like this, and then you can attach it on. You can paint over these these um, bits of masking tape afterwards. So you get you don't have to look at the plain paper. You just grab your little sections. Just layer them along. So now you can see I finished putting the straw along the top and I painted over the masking tape as well. So we have that nice kind of um, mixed look between the paints so that it looks uh, more natural. So the next thing I'm going to do then is the last thing, which is to put the string on. So we just need to make a little hole. Um, I just mark it with the pen first. I'm going to come in again about an inch and about halfway along. And then make a hole with a pair of scissors. You might need to get an adult to do this bit. So just using the scissors to make this nice hole. That's where you're going to tie your string through. Two bits of string, one to tie on either side, thread it through the hole, and tie it in a knot. You do the same on the other side. So then uh, you'll have your two strings here at the back. You'll be able to tie them around the back of your head, and that will secure the mask onto the back of your head and be able to wear it. So happy ha ha na everyone. I hope you have a brilliant time and uh, I don't think the fairies are going to get you in this outfit and um, see you all soon at the Wexford Art Centre. <laughs>